Hello everybody, it's Joe here, and welcome back to Umzi 2. Today we are back on West Country, of course we're on West Country, we're always on West Country, and we are going to be driving the Digibus Phantom in this lovely Wilts and Dorset livery. Now I got sent a key for the Digibus Phantom, which was a little bit odd because I already had it, um, but yeah, I got sent a key, so uh, maybe, we'll, uh, maybe we'll do a giveaway of some sort and... Uh, give that out to everybody else but yeah today we are going to be driving uh, on the 100 so the um, the condition of having the key was that I made some sort of content on it so here it is the Digibus Phantom of course it is the Optair Spectra on a DAF chassis but of course I'm assuming for licensing that's why it's Digibus and FAF uh, yeah nice interior nice interior it's got the traditional uh, it's meant to be like tires isn't it it looks like tires uh, cap it on the ceiling, not a fan, but uh, but hey ho. Right, let's get the bus started up. I mean, it's fairly straightforward, isn't it? To start up, it's just E and M, you know, nice and easy, nice and easy. Uh, we also need to have 100 on the destination. I realise you can't see that, but I don't know how to work the destination controller on this. Um, I mean, is the one? Uh, I mean, there's there's that there. I I, I don't know where the Oh, it's up there. It's up there. Right, okay, that's absolutely fine. Uh, lovely. Marvellous. Right, let's let everybody on. And uh, due to the fact that the ticket Hello, machine Matt. doesn't appear Hello, to... Mate. Like, I, I don't know, maybe... Day driver. Uh, like, everything... Oh, those are, those are the prices. Right, okay, those are the prices. And these buttons are all inoperable. Okay, Hello, none of this stuff works. What's... Ah, there we go, so... There we go. Lovely. Right, I've, I've sussed it out to do it. Ah, so the ticket machine does work. Right, okay. Let you off then. And of course, you've got your coins. Ah, uh, yeah. Sensible. Quick change. I like it. That's a lot easier than uh, than fighting with the Studio Polygon. Uh, <laughs> just cash littered about all in a cash tray. I prefer a quick change. Much prefer a quick change. Now, hang on. Where are we? Oh, it's time to go. Oh, well, right. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. What are you getting off for, love? Would People are, she, she's got up, she's on the wrong bus, she wants the one behind, obviously. Uh, yeah, I have put a link in the description to uh, to the Digibus Phantom. Right, off we go. My goodness me, I've not driven this in such a long time. Why have I not driven this in such a long time? I can't, I, do, do you know what, I genuinely don't know. What better route than on the park and ride? I kind of imagine that the park and ride would have some sort of old clapped out bus on it. The Enviro's failed, so, you know, let, let's just get whatever we've got out of the depot and uh, and shove it down here. I mean, it makes a bit of a change, doesn't it? Because normally I'm driving an Eclipse, I'm driving an Eclipse, or I'm driving an Eclipse, you know. So uh, so to drive the Digibus, it's, uh, it is something a little bit different. A little change of pace, isn't it? Right, off we go. One thing I've always liked about this bus, and, uh, oh, hang on, I like how there's some lights on the inside. There we go. One thing I have always liked about this bus is how good it sounds. The, the Spectra engine sounds really do uh, capture kind of how uh, how authentic. You know, I, I'm just saying words for the sake of it now, but I love the engine sounds on this. I mean, back back in the day, uh, I used to travel on the uh, on the 268, the Reeve Yorkshire, and they had Spectras. Yeah, it was the 268, which ran from Bradford to Dewsbury at the time. Now it goes on to Wakefield, the 268A. Uh, but yeah, Bradford to Dewsbury, and that used Optest Spectras before uh, they were replaced by the 58 plate Enviros, Enviro 400s. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've travelled on Spectras before and I always liked them. I did always like the Spectra, I thought they were a nice bus. Just thinking off the top of my head, the problem we're going to have here is uh, the fact that I am not doing ticket selling. Ticket selling's turned off. Oh, we'll, just, we'll just nip over here. What on earth's happening here? It's, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of congestion there at that bus stop. Yeah, ticket selling is turned off, so this is going to be quite a quick run. I mean, to be fair, actually, let's just let's just pop on the menu. Let's put advanced. There we go. We'll, we'll pop ticket selling back on because I know how to I know how to work the machine now, don't I? So we may as well we may as well drive as we would. We'll just plod along. Oh, that's a yellow light, but I have committed. You know, I wouldn't want to stamp on the brakes too hard and uh, upset all my passengers. It's not what you want, is it? Now, we don't stop here. It's very important that you remember we don't stop here, because I always stop there. Problem is, is it skips past, so I don't know if you get, like, too early. 
There we go. And into Infirmary Road. Nobody coming? Nope. Lovely. There's a lot of buses playing about today, isn't there? Playing out. I've taken two Enviros. I'm assuming one was on the 35. This is, of course, on uh, on my save that doesn't have... Oh, I love that sound. Do you remember when buses used to make that sound? They don't seem to do it anymore, do they? Maybe the brakes are a lot better than they used to be. Probably a different sort of brake. Oh. Just take it nice and steady. The carpet on the ceiling really is off-putting. Yeah, I don't like the carpet on the ceiling. To be fair, I don't actually know where I got this repaint from. I'm assuming it was from Fellows Film. I was going to download a, uh, a new repaint and, uh, and see what we could find on Fellows Film. But unfortunately, it's down today. I know. I was looking like, oh my giddy amp, what's happened here? But uh, yeah, it appears that it's down. Right, so we've got a route 12 there. We'll just scoot round the edge of you. There we go. And a route 100. I mean, you, you could really have parked a bit better there, sir. Oh, I think we just narrowly avoided that. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. Round we go. Ah, lovely. Well... It has to be said, I parked a damn sight better than that other chap did. Oh, it's the step entry one. I know some of them are low floor, aren't they? Hello? Oh, I'm a bit low down, aren't I? Right, hang on. £2.65. How do we... £2.65. Lovely. Uh, 5p. Oh, it's going to take a bit of getting used to is this. 5.30. Yeah, of course you can, love. And then 4.70 change. 50.70. Oh, it's actually quite easy when you get used to it, isn't it? 8.50. 1.50. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, accents change just like that. It's just quite difficult remembering where the buttons are because they're not labelled, are they? Uh, 265, yeah, lovely. 220, 35, thank you, my love. And there's no pennies, what? is there? No coppers. Ooh, give me a diorider, mate. That's that one. Yeah, see, oh, I'm getting, getting the hang of this now. There was me starting with no ticket selling turned on because I thought we wouldn't be able to do it. And I'm absolutely a little bit of a whiz already. Quick learner, quick learner. Right, we need to uh, we need to get a shifty on now because we're one point four minutes late. Oh, are you are you going down there? Come on! Fantastic, uh, daft air horn there. Yeah, the sounds on this are very good. It, it has to be said. I mean, uh, this is definitely my favourite V3D bus that is ever made. I do like this, and you know what? The Spectra doesn't get as much recognition on this channel as it possibly should. You know, maybe we need to... Uh, I don't know what this... Oh, those are your warning lights, aren't they? I was thinking it looked like something out of the Matrix. I guess it's because there's not really a lot of places that have Spectres anymore, is there? I mean, when all's said and done. There's not, is there? Maybe that's why I've kind of fallen out of love with them, because they've just all slowly but surely disappeared, which is really sad when buses, you know, when they, when they get withdrawn, when they fewer and further between until eventually there's none left. It is really sad. I, I absolutely hate it. I absolutely hate it. I know time must move on and it always does. You know, time waits for no man and all that jazz. But uh, yeah, it, it just, it does kind of, you know, the Spectre's a great bus. I mean, it's very clean. It's very clean. It could do with a few dirt textures, you know, like making it look beaten up and old. Right, off we go. Particularly a step entrance. Well, any of them now, even the lower floor ones, they were what, 2002? The Ariba ones were 52 plate, I think. So, I mean, they would have a few. Uh, I mean, they're 20 years old, aren't they? The, the lower floor ones, or some of them. Were, were there any newer than 2002? I can't remember, to tell you the truth. I don't know, like I say, other than Ariba Yorkshire, we didn't really have them around where, you know, where I was. Ariba did have a lot of them.
But yeah, so it's a bus that I don't really know a lot about. I would absolutely love a Volvo Olympian Alexander Royale. I think that'd be absolutely brilliant in OMSI. Because we used to have loads of those around Halifax. Leyland Olympians, Volvo Olympians. I just think it'd be really nice to get a proper UK spec one. Oh, hang on, no, we don't stop here, do we? Not on the 100 anyway. Yeah, you can press the button all you want, ladies, but unfortunately, uh, we're not booked to stop there, so it ain't happening. Just stick to the left hand lane. Yeah, Totnes Road's our next stop. Get our foot down a bit. Bit of thrash. Old spotters at the back will be absolutely creaming themselves over that, won't they? Whoa, bit of thrash, bit of thrash. Yeah, the Spectra was always a, uh, a, a spotter slash enthusiast fan favourite, wasn't it? Probably why V3D modelled uh, this bus. It's always been a bit of a favourite. Oh, are we, uh, yeah, let's make, let's make sure that we're stopping. Oh, that lorry in front is actually a DAF, unlike this one that's a cheap Chinese knockoff, a FAF. It's like a Raylox watch, isn't it? It's not quite the same. Oh, hang on. Doesn't it sound good? Oh, it does sound good. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, but again, we've committed because we're running a little bit late. That'll do. Foot down. Yeah, um, do make sure that you join the Discord as well. Uh, I always forget to mention this. There is a link in the description to the Discord. Uh, if I do decide to give this bus away, uh, which, to be honest with you, I probably will uh, by the time this video goes out, it probably will already be up. So make sure you join the Discord because you can join the giveaway and uh, potentially receive a free copy of the Digibus Phantom. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? And then you too can drive this, uh, this wonderful, uh, wonderful bus. What's that? Oh, it's the doors. I thought the engine management light had come on for a second. Well, like, heck, that's no good. Anybody else? No? No, oh, lovely. I wonder if there's a dual door version of this. Because they did have Spectrus in London for a time, didn't they? Probably with dual door. I wonder if uh, this comes with a dual door spec. Be great to drive around London, wouldn't it? Proper olden days. Step entry buses in London, that seems like a lifetime ago, doesn't it? Come on, through we go. Lights green, love. for a second it was running into difficulties I didn't want it to have the same problem that we had yesterday with our stream I uh, I am so sorry for everybody that tuned in for the live stream yesterday uh, we just had the blue screen of death not even a crash to desktop because otherwise I'd have stayed on the stream wouldn't I um, and we could have salvaged it but um, we had the blue screen with the sad face and your computer ran into a problem and needs to restart and there was a load of like noises oh it was just awful and I was really sad actually because um, it, it was a really good live stream. I was really enjoying myself. We had some great people that had joined. Um, the, the flight was going really well. So yeah, I was really, really gutted uh, when we had the uh, the crash, well, not even a crash to desktop, like I say. Really, really gutted. Oh, hang on, Disley Street, that's for us. Oh, that's Tallside Road, never mind. Oh yeah, we, we'd stop here. There you go. So yeah, sorry about that guys, uh, I am thinking maybe we'll do another live stream flight because I was really really enjoying myself, that Phoenix Airbus, oh my goodness me, it's absolutely fantastic, um, maybe we will at another stage but like I say I am really really sorry to those of you that tuned in and uh, and I wish that there was kind of something I could do to salvage that. By the time I uh, managed to get the computer restarted it took absolutely chuffing ages, and by the time I got my PC restarted the... Um, Hang on, what have I done there? There we go. Yeah, by the time I got it restarted for about the fifth time, uh, everyone had gone. So I was like, oh, okay. Well, I could restart again, but nobody would get a notification, would they? 
flights. Uh, never mind. Never mind. These things happen, don't they? Particularly with flight sims. You, you do get the old crash to desktop. Flipping annoying, if you ask me. Is that everybody? Yeah, lovely. Straight down. Where do we go now? Oh, we go back round to Disley Street. I've got you. It's weird, isn't it, that we don't like kind of do a loop round and stop at Memorial Crescent. Round we go. Way. Hold on to your hats. Oh, I took that a bit wide, even for a bus. Flipping heck. Right, off we go. Foot down. Come on. Doing well so far. Is this one Disley Street? I think it is. Yeah, there we go. Oh my lord, there's a lot of people getting on, isn't there? Oh no, they're, they're waiting for other buses as well. It's a Saturday, of course. What are you expecting, Joe? I do like how you can open the doors while it's Hello, still lad. moving. Hello, driver. See you in there. That's up there, yeah. Of course, a lot of modern buses don't have that feature, do they? 1, 50, 70. Lovely. Thank you, dear. A single ticket, please. 265, 20, So, yeah, it's lovely to be able to open the doors while the bus is moving. You feel so rebellious, don't you? 2, 20, There we go. Right, well, we'll set off. I know we're a little bit early. It doesn't really matter, though, does it? We're a little bit early, but, of course, sometimes the timings on this can be a little bit funny. You can end up running really late for no apparent reason. So we'll we'll just set off early and pace ourselves. That's what we'll do. We'll just plod. You know I'm great at plodding, don't you? And you know what? We'll even stop here so we're not blocking this junction. I know it's not really a junction, is it? But, uh, you know, just in case this Passat wants to turn in. Oh, no, it won't, will it? Because by the time he's going, we'll be going too. Oh, well. The thought was there. <laughs> oh, dear me. You know what? I've forgotten how much I like this bus. I really have. We need to probably incorporate this into more of the videos. We could probably actually get one of these with like this logo or this livery with Joe Ahead Group slapped on the side. We could incorporate it into the virtual bus company, couldn't we? That'd be good. Oh yeah, a couple of Spectras just to keep us going. For like the school runs and things like that. Oh, this is Tarside Road, isn't it? Coming the other way. Yeah, let's... Uh, oh, how rebellious. Right, round we go. I do believe as well, the, uh, was the Spectra the first low floor bus in the UK? I think it was, off the top of my head. I know that we're not driving a low floor spec now. But uh, yeah, I think that the Spectra, it was either the Spectra or the ALX 400, but I'm absolutely certain it was the Spectra, because they had T-Regs that were low floor, didn't they? Did they? Oh, I can't remember to tell you the truth, but I think, I've heard somebody mention somebody before that the Spectra were the first low floor bus. Ahead of its time, really, wasn't it? Good morning. Hi. Or afternoon, even, as soon as it's ten past one. I think that's return ticket please that you're looking for there, sir. Thank you very much. Right, are we ready? Oh, I'm sorry, love. I think you've just missed this one, but there will be another one along soon. Oh, hang on. I oh, we're going to nip through there, but uh, 
seeing as Mr. Taxi hasn't gone through. I better not, Ada. Don't want to be rear ending somebody else, not at 1310. It's a little bit early for anything like that. Flipping heck. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. I imagine that many bus drivers do exactly the same thing. They just sit there at lights and just contemplate life. Right, there we go. Oh, I've, I've still got it focused on my ticket machine. And so, right, nobody coming. We're just going to pull straight across into this lane because uh, we don't stop at... Well, there's no, there's no stops up here, is there? Come on, floor it out of town. Oh, it does sound good, doesn't it? A nice thrashy bus. This would do well on the 35, it really would. Be good at keeping time. Really would be good at keeping time. There we go. Nice and steady up to the roundabout. We uh, we need to be coming off into this lane, don't we, on the uh, on the roundabout? Because we don't stop there, no, sir, we do not. Oh, speed camera. Oh, you're not playing bus company sims, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're just on regular Romsey. I wonder, can we get a nice shot of us turning round here? Way. So if I pause that there for a second. Can we get a... Hmm, that's not bad, is it? I mean, it's... it's It could be better. Let's say... Uh, oh, old lady's upstairs. Oh, yeah, I like that. Do you know what that'll do? Bit of uh, bit of camera movement. He's nearly going flying out at doors. Heck, there's no one driving. Oh, my goodness me. There's nobody driving. It's not what you need. It's one of these new autonomous buses. Who thought that the first autonomous bus would, in fact, be an Optus Spectra? Certainly not me. Round we go. Careful not to tap the front off the Enviro. Way there we go. Lovely. I think we can just squeeze through that. Oh, yeah, we've got loads of space. Give him a little toot toot. Way. You'd have got airtime going down there at this speed, wouldn't you? Park and ride only this one. Yeah, we're only going to the park and ride, ladies. Oh, oh my god, it's a school trip. But they've all got the uniform on. Lufthansa cabin crew woman's here. She's just nipped into hospital. To get a shot. She must be flying somewhere exotic. Hi. Can I have a single, Uh possibly. I don't actually know where that is. There we go. A tempe change. Thank you, child. I really need to get a new passenger uh, AI pack, do So they all look a little bit different. You know, just to liven things up a little bit. No, no, sorry. You want the one going towards the town. You're go this one's going the wrong way for you lot. Hey. Good job it's got soft suspension, this thing, hasn't it? Isn't it? What am I trying to say? Oh, I don't know. It's this little bit nipping into the hospital. It always kind of makes you feel like you've had a bit of a deja vu moment, doesn't it? When you've already driven into the hospital going down towards town. 
It's no wonder sometimes people come out of the... Oh, hang on, what are we doing? What, 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 what? Come on. Change your mind at your last minute. Or has your taxi fare not been giving you correct directions? I don't know. Yeah, it's no wonder sometimes you come back out of here and turn left and head off back towards the town again, is it? Oh, we've got a green light. Look at that. Right, round we go. Oh, the next stop's the park and ride. So anyone that wants any of these stops... I'm sorry, we can't do it. We, we just can't. No, sorry. Now oh, we'll take it nice and... Th oh, no, we've got a green light. Oh, we've not. We've not. Oh, damn it. Hang on, what's this? Oh, that's for going left. Okay. Well, if we hadn't spent so much time faffing about... Any time today. Come on. This is why we set off early. You know when I said earlier? We, we set off early because we'll end up running late. This is exactly the reason. Because we're one and a half minutes late now. And we've been flooring it everywhere. Come on, bus. You can do it. Oh, I think these are red down here as well. Flipping egg. Oh, they're not working in our favour today, are they? Leave those squeaky brakes. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't absolutely trying to make the brakes squeak. Right, come on. Way off we go. Still 1.5 late. Come on. We're on the home stretch. We don't stop here at Nut Hatch Way. That's actually Nut Hatch Way over there. The road signs are done correctly for it. I like that. Little attentions to detail and all that jazz. I mean, we, yeah, we're undertaking folk, but it doesn't really matter, does it? They need to speed up then. Heck, we're actually doing 45 in a 50. Uh, 45 in a 40. It's not good. Maybe that's why we're undertaking everybody. Bus is gone. It's bus driver's last trip, isn't it, before his break, so uh, that's why he's got his foot down. Nope, nobody coming. We're, we're just flying straight out then. You can sit. Oh, we. Ah, oh, it don't matter. Right. Well, this is uh, this is the park and ride, of course, where this bus terminates. Thank you. Uh, for watching today. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do show your appreciation. Five seconds out of your day to click that like button. It's always appreciated. And uh, of course, do click the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. It would be very much appreciated. So you can keep up to date with all the uh, the current and the uh, the exciting new OMSI goings on. Uh, I do believe that next week we've got some exciting stuff happening. Uh, particularly towards the end of next week, uh, providing plans don't change, of course. So please do make sure that you uh, you subscribe so you never miss out on any of that. And uh, yeah, as I say, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.